Hello there and welcome back to the Master Moldy channel. Now, as you're watching this video, yesterday, Saturday, the last Saturday of June, I have no idea what day that is meant to be. I had enough trouble trying to keep up on the days when I spent a month building my biggest Lego Star Wars mock. I will have had gone to a Star Wars convention. I'm not quite sure if there's any Lego that's going to be there. I'm hoping there is a little bit just so I can include it at the start of tomorrow's video. But I thought today is quite a cool day compared to the last few in the UK. It's starting to get hot. And if you haven't been to the UK, it's a different heat. It's not a very nice heat that even most of Europe gets. It's a very messy, sweaty heat. And it is horrible when you're working in a Lego room, when you've got lights on you for the camera, even if you're not recording. If you're trying to build all day and you don't have a very efficient light or it makes a room hot or perhaps you've got some desk lights like I do and they're definitely raising the temperature you will need to know how to keep cool and I've got quite a few tricks up my sleeve and dotted around the floor so today we're going to be taking a look at how I keep cool during the summer when I am building in my Lego room and hopefully there's a few tips that you can pick up especially if you are in the UK if you're not in the UK this will also work. These aren't UK specific. It's just from my experience. So I guess it's probably more targeted towards a UK audience, but it will work wherever you are. First up, we have one of my favorite purchases that I have spent money on in the Lego room that isn't actual Lego bricks. I will have to blur the brand name. It isn't sponsored. You can get various brands of this. This is really a cheap one off Amazon. So you don't even have to spend that much money on a good one because this I find does the trick for my room. It's about nine meters squared. So I'm not quite sure what that is in square feet, but I'll put it on screen. It's not a massive room. This is an air purifier. It sucks air in the bottom. There are two holes, one on the front, one on the back, all these vent like things. And they suck the air in and they blow it out the top and there is a filter to collect the dust. It also helps with pollen. So if any of you are suffering from any allergies such as hay fever over the summer, this is also really, really good. It keeps the air clean. It's not perfect. It doesn't completely get rid of the dust. As I said, we are still dusting every couple of weeks, but instead of dusting every, well, it was about four times every three weeks, we're able to stretch it to two, three weeks before dusting because this does most of the work. And the Lego still gets dusty after a couple of days, but it is nowhere near what it used to be, especially with other people walking past the room. And in the summer, we're keeping the windows open. I'll get onto that later. So there is quite a bit of dust entering through there as well. And this has a few different speeds so that when I'm recording, if you can hear a fan in the background, I've probably got this on the slowest. It is almost silent but it does mean sometimes when i'm talking you can just hear it because i actually put this by my feet which is sort of the central part between these lego displays and the ones just to my right so it does work with both of these especially whilst i've got my minifigures out i don't think i've dusted these for a few weeks i recently dusted a few of the larger models but you can see there's a little bit of dust on some of the minifigures, but overall, it doesn't look that bad. So if you don't already own one, I definitely recommend getting a air purifier rather than having to replace the filter. So far, I found if you just wash the filter down, it's a bit hard to get into some of the gaps, but you can wash the filter, rinse it off, let it dry. It's got to dry before you put it in. Don't put a wet filter in. That is a really bad fire hazard but ours also has a little section for oils if you want some nice smells around your room and it's definitely a must have over the summer now i said about open windows as well and first off this is the blind i have the reason it's got stars on it is because they glow in the dark and that is awesome i know it's aimed for a kid's room but who doesn't want glowing stars on a wall in the Lego room? Because this blind does take up the whole wall here where the window is. Usually the windows are open. I do shut them when I'm recording. And if you've seen any of my vlog style videos where I go out, you'll understand completely why. But when I'm not recording or perhaps between recording, I open 
both of the windows to let as much of the cold air in but they don't always stay open because here in the UK the air especially around midday around lunchtime does get pretty warm and that is not air you want blowing into your Lego rooms. I know most people board up the windows so this isn't going to be a very helpful hack if your window is boarded up but if you can have perhaps your door open and let some cool air in. If you're in your Lego room all day your body heat alone will raise the temperature so getting some cool air from the rest of the house or opening the windows really does help but remember to keep your blinds shut. I know most people keep windows blocked and that because of UV on Lego. Now the IKEA unit does most of the work blocking the sunlight because no sunlight really gets to any of them spots when I do have the windows open and we are keeping our eye on the Hogwarts Express which when the sun is quite low does get just cool but I mean it's been here for the best part of a year and so far it's not really affected by the light and that could be down to a number of things like the windows reducing the strength of the UV perhaps the sun isn't on it enough and it's only a few minutes of every day but during the summer this blind is going to stay all the way down so we don't get any heat from the sun. I mean, as I said, there's enough heat from all the lights on me when I'm recording or when I'm trying to build something. So this blind not only looks cool of a night when all the stars are lit up, but also keeps the temperature down. This is a blackout blind. And if you're in the UK, chances are you probably already have a blackout blind. They're very popular, especially when summer hits and you're trying to sleep and the sun hasn't gone yet. So this keeps most of the sun out. The only problem is if you look on the side it doesn't fit in our window so we have a small little gap but still it eradicates about 90-95% of the sun and does what we want it to quite well. And regarding lighting in your Lego room as well I only usually have the big light on when I am making videos so you can see what's behind me. When I'm at the desk and I've got my desk light on usually that is the only light I have in the room. I can then angle that at the parts when I need to pick up some extra pieces and it just helps to again keep the temperature of the room down. I don't need to be looking at the rest of the room so I'm happy for that to be darker. With the sun still peeking through the blind it doesn't mean the room is pitch black it just means that the light is all centered towards my desk and that also helps to keep the temperature down. You might also see I'm wearing a few more sports tops in the summer because I find that the regular cotton ones tend to absorb my sweat and then they don't feel great. So these tops that I'm wearing, the West Ham ones, the England ones, the other Clara Blue, even the Guardians of the Galaxy ones are sort of anti-sweat tops. And though it means that I need to take a few more breaks to just freshen up throughout the day, it makes me feel a lot, lot better than having a sweaty top stuck to my back. Now, as I said at the start of this video, it's been quite a cool day today. So we don't actually have most of the stuff that we usually have out. And our fan is a bit dusty where we haven't used it the last few days. But we do own a floor fan. Again, there are other brands available. This is just the cheapest one that we could probably find at the time, or at least the best for the cheapest price, which is definitely something you need if you're putting a few of these around your house. You can't afford to get the most expensive models. But the reason we have a floor fan rather than any other type of fan is because hot air rises. Now, you probably know this, but what a load of people don't realize is that means the cooler air drops to the lower parts of the room which is the floor unless you've got some sort of mesh floor and it goes lower than the floor in which case I'm not quite sure if a floor fan will do anything but I also think you probably have everything sorted if you're able to get a mesh floor but anyway we have a floor fan because as the cool air drops we then have the fan blowing that back up into the room similar to the air purifier the air purifier takes in the air at the bottom blows it up so we have two fans blowing the colder air around the room and that just helps maintain the temperatures. The ceiling fans don't work as well because they're just blowing the hot air around and though when you're standing underneath them it is really nice and cool. The floor fans just help to circulate that cold air and something that we are doing this year as well is we've got an old ice cream tub. We filled it with water, put it in the freezer, let it melt, let it melt. And we're actually sitting that in front or behind of the fan. We're not quite sure if it's better to put it in front or behind the fan. But what that will do is cool the air around it. And then the fan will push up 
that colder air around the room. And as that slowly melts throughout the day, it will just keep the room nice and cool. And then we have a dehumidifier just so it doesn't get too humid in either this room or any other. And I haven't found a dehumidifier is necessarily necessary for a Lego room. It depends how much Lego you've got. If you've got a full on Lego city, perhaps you might be worried about a few damp corners. And especially if you usually have like a glass of water around, I guess that might affect it to some extent, but I haven't found a dehumidifier to be necessary at all. So most of the time we don't actually have one in this room. It's mainly the purifier just for dealing with all that dust. And the next tip I have might sound a bit silly, but it is to try and get out your Lego room at least once a day. Just go for a couple minutes walk and let the room cool down without you in it. Because as I mentioned earlier, body heat does play a big part on a temperature, especially in such a closed room like the room that I'm in. I've got the door shut when I'm working because I've got the parts behind the door. So I'm not getting any of the cool air from the house. And if the air outside is warm and the ice blocks already melted, going on a walk helps not only to reduce your temperature as long as you're staying cool from the sun, you know, hat, sunglasses, sun cream and all the rest, but also helps to then reduce the temperature in the room. You've got no lights on like the big blinding light I've got for the camera. So it helps to keep the temperature down and then you come back, continue working and you'll probably find you get more done in a cool room than you do if you are starting to break a sweat. And though it doesn't really help with keeping the room cooler around you, I've got a few dusting tips as well. Keyboard gel is really, really handy for dusting Lego models. It helps to get around the studs and for some tighter areas that perhaps the keyboard gel isn't reaching. A makeup brush is always handy. I'm showing this off because it's actually got my name on it. I got a personalized makeup brush from an event that my fiance went to a health and beauty event. And it's just something really, really cool that I have to show off. But hopefully these tips keeping the floor fan, perhaps a small air purifier. A lot of these do cost about what a Lego set would cost. So you do have to think, do you need them? Or would you rather have a Lego set? Because a lot of the time, I'd rather have a Lego set, but especially if you're in somewhere like the UK, keeping cool is absolutely vital. So hopefully this video helps. Stay tuned tomorrow. You might get a glimpse at the Star Wars convention. I'll at least throw up a few pictures on Instagram if I don't end up including it in the video. And that is all for me today. Remember to drop like before you leave and hit subscribe if you haven't already. May the bricks be with you always.